Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. What a better day than to walk you through a big living quarters. It's nice and toasty here in Colorado. We've got a 2022 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Living Quarters sitting behind me. Before we get into this trailer, let's go ahead and take a look at the drawings. I'll show you some specs of how this actually, this trailer is laid out, uh, some different measurements, and, and again, specifications for you on the trailer itself. So like I mentioned, we have a 2022 Cimarron Four Horse sitting here. So this is a 14 foot short wall, no slide out on this trailer. The floor length on it is 33.9, so you're under 34 foot on the floor, still a very manageable trailer getting in and out of places. Eight foot wide, we went seven, seven tall on this trailer. It's got a pod on it, full width rear tack. Uh, but then again, like I mentioned, it's got a 14 foot short wall. That is a outlaw conversion that we're gonna walk you through. Uh, again, no slide out on this one, but a really cool, well-equipped trailer that we're gonna walk through. There's a ton of options on these, so bear with us as we walk through this trailer and we'll show you some different features and different options we just put on the trailer that we feel like is gonna give you a lot of uh, just beneficial value to it, enjoy the trailer a little bit more. Um, but overall, when you combine a Cimarron and an Outlaw, you're getting what we consider the best trailer out there on today's market. So <coughs> let's take a look at this. So very first thing is we're gonna look at a Cimarron trailer. So it's all aluminum construction. You're gonna have an eight-year structure warranty, three-year hardware warranty, one-year no questions asked warranty on their tires. We'll get into that a little bit more. But then when you combine it with an Outlaw conversion, Outlaw conversion is a three-year manufacturer warranty. Now, <coughs> this is the only trailer out there on the market today that you can buy brand new, covered nose to tail for three years. Now, some conversion companies will offer a three-year manufacturer, a craftsmanship warranty, but then a one-year on everything else. So with Outlaw, if they put the refrigerator, the microwave, the generator on it, it's covered for three years. So again, it's the only trailer conversion company combo out there that you're covered nose to tail for three years. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we walk through this, but let's start talking about some of the options. Just based on the size of this trailer, we didn't want to just do a single leg jack. So on this one here, we did the equalizer, electric over hydraulic system, dual jacks on this. Again, with the slide out, we're always gonna put dual jacks on them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the overall length and the just sheer size of the trailer. So we opted for the dual jacks on this one, just a real nice feature. You can really manipulate this trailer if you're on uneven ground to kind of level it up. Um, obviously nose to tail with it. The other cool thing about hydro these dual hydraulic jacks is you're gonna have dual switches. So if you're not exactly square underneath the ball, you can actually kind of walk a trailer onto it uh, by being off just a little bit. One of the things that we like to do to all of our inventory trailers <coughs> is go ahead and put from 20 pound bottles up to the 30 pound LP bottles. You're gonna be traveling, you're gonna be using this trailer. Let's go ahead and put more capacity um, with the larger tanks on there. Less time you have to you know, spend actually swapping tanks, filling them up as far as that's concerned there. Above that is gonna be our battery box. It's gonna house our two house batteries. Everything that, that Outlaw does is extremely well labeled. So you can understand where each one of these wires goes. Um, there's a lot of service centers that are qualified to work on Outlaw conversions. It makes a big difference when you're working with Outlaw in their service and warranty side of it. If they're at another location, we're saying, hey, this is what you need to go look for. But you got your battery disconnect in here as well. Uh, if you have room for more batteries if you'd like to do that, but you've got the battery box that you can lock up. Those buttons right up here, the controls for the equalizer jacks are right here. So again, individual switches. <laughs> and then they always try to come up with unique and, and creative areas to actually store some items. So this tube you see underneath here, this is kind of wasted space underneath this gooseneck. This tube actually holds our hose for our dump tank. So you can take this hose out, you usually wanna do your black tank first and then your gray tank afterwards because your gray tank will just flush anything that's left over in that tube. Um, I like to recommend carrying some just disposable gloves, plastic gloves. That way when you're handling that, putting it away, putting it, using it, you can actually store the box of those right up here in this battery box. When you're done, you throw them away, but you got them right there for you. But again, that's just 
unique area to go ahead and put some items like that. Now, when we're looking at a Cimarron nose, so the gooseneck length here, a lot of competitors will do a 7.6 to 7.8 foot nose. Standard on a Cimarron is 8.2, so you have a little bit more length, which is gonna help in our LQ area, just giving us more storage space, a little bit more accommodating up there. But when you're hooking onto a truck, especially a long box with a tailgate, a lot of manufacturers, those tailgates will butt right up against, you know, the cover, maybe a spare tire. Uh, with a Cimarron, you drop your tailgate and you can actually walk behind there. So a lot more space between there. <coughs> when you get into the enclosed front ends, with a roll-up door, they'll actually potentially expand it to a 9-foot or a 9-6 nose, so we can even make these noses longer <coughs> on a Cimarron. You'll notice up here you're going to have... Uh, just frameless windows, they've gone to that on the 22 models moving forward, that's standard. Uh, it's just a cleaner, sleeker look. You notice a lot of uh, campers and motorhomes are going to those as well. Uh, that's just an added feature that they've gone in and done there. Now, let's take a look at this living quarters, because again, when you step into an outlaw conversion, it's like stepping into a custom home. So this is a 14 foot short wall. Again, no slide out on this trailer here, but a really cool, unique setup. Very first thing you're gonna notice is when you come in is the couch, sofa, sleeper on one side, and then we've actually got a recliner across from it. So just gives you a little bit more space to kind of sit down, relax. This does break down into a bed, but then you've got the ability to actually sit down in your recliner, hang out, watch some TV. So as we get up into the gooseneck area, up in the bed area, you're gonna have a lot of storage. You're just gonna notice that we have storage cabinets clear up in the front, we've got them on each side, uh, but you've got the, the Outlaw Flex Queen mattress up there, uh, day-night shades, so you've got the ability to have a little bit of light come in, but then darken it up at night as well. As we work back, you're gonna notice above that sofa sleeper, you got a lot of storage up above there as well. But again, that sofa breaks down into a bed just like a jackknife, jackknife style um, futon. It's actually going to house a 60 gallon fresh water tank underneath it as well. And then over here, this is what why we like this layout so much is because again you've got a, an area where you can sit, hang out, watch TV, and then your kitchen. There, This is a actually a pretty good sized kitchen area we're looking at right here. We've got our kitchen sink with a cover on it. Nice deep sink. We're putting more emphasis on trying to get as big a sinks as we can, as deep a sinks as we can, just because we understand nobody wants to try to wash in maybe a real small kind of bathroom size um, sink there. Behind that is you're gonna have a recessed two burner cooktop as well. <coughs> if you're ever swapping out those LP bottles, the quickest and easiest way to purge your lines is to come right here and fire these guys up. Uh, if not, when you go to fire up your refrigerator, it's going to try to cycle through a whole bunch. That is the quickest and easiest way. And then as you drop it, look at all the added counter space. We did tile to the overhead cabinets. That's an upgrade there. And then we went in, instead of just a microwave, we did a convection oven for you. So bigger microwave itself, but then you've got the ability to use some of those other features that a convection oven has there. There's that TV. A lot of storage below it as well. Now this TV is also a smart TV. We've been doing this over the last couple years. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi capable trailer, so you can actually, you know, contact your uh, cellular provider, get a SIM card to plug it in. It'll, so if you're working out of this trailer, you've got Wi-Fi streaming. You can stream off of this this uh, TV right here because it's smart TV. Actually, now Outlaw is going to be pretty much going to this standard, uh, but we've been doing that for about two years now on all of our trailers. Behind it is actually going to be a 7.0 refrigerator freezer. So again, this counter, counter area, kitchen area, refrigerator, you got a lot of space. You're not having to kind of step, hover over somebody to cook something. We also try to really keep our kitchens away from the gooseneck drop area. That is something that we've just heard time and time again from our female customers. They just don't want the kitchen right up against that gooseneck drop wall. 
So if we can, we really try to emphasize getting the kitchen away from that. In this setup, it works extremely well um, as far as giving you a lot of kitchen area, but also getting it away from just a general area where you can kind of hang out. And then as you step into the bathroom, this is a nice big bathroom, pass-through door going into the stall area as well. But as you can see, you know, we don't have to hover over the, the toilet itself to get ready at the sink area. You've got a place that you can actually stand in front of that bathroom vanity and then that sink and still have a lot of counter space as well. There's a lot of storage behind that mirror there. And then where I'm at is a nice big closet, dual clothes rods. That's actually your base and your, tea, and your uh, um, table's actually stored right behind there. So you can take that out if you want, have that table, whether you set it in front of that recliner or that sofa. And then the last thing is you're gonna have your radius shower. So with it being radius a little bit bigger, gives you a little bit more elbow room. If you're taller, the skylight helps. You also get that natural lighting there as well. Uh, but just again, a good size shower, good size bathroom to maneuver in here. And what's so cool about these pass-through doors is you can actually use this as a mudroom. Hop in through your escape door, kick off dirty boots, step in here to the, the bathroom shower and out you go. So again, Good size bathroom here. As we work back into the living space here. The other thing about a Outlaw is we're gonna have this ducted um, AC unit and then also we've got a furnace. So what you can do is actually you can manipulate and really keep this cabin at a really consistent temperature. If you wanna manipulate it by shutting down the vents in the bathroom or up in the neck area or forcing more uh, by having that ducted system it just really helps just again keeping this cabin at more of a consistent temperature whether it's cold or hot and then as we head out over here by the door you're gonna have your control panel for an onan 4000 generator we'll show you where that's located here in a little bit we have an electric awning i'll show you when we get the outside of that but Here's all your controls for your lights. Everything's really well labeled. So exact, you know exactly what you're turning on and off. And then above this door, you're actually gonna have a hat rack. Again, that's kind of wasted space. You got two hat racks up there. You can slide your cowboy hats in, get them out of the way. And then you're gonna have a retractable screen door going over this heavy duty door that Cimarron actually builds. <laughs> There's a couple different door versions that we can do. This one here is made at the factory at Cimarron. We don't like prefab uh, doors. The easiest way to tell if it's a prefab door, if it's rounded at the top. If it's squared at the top, that is a built at the factory door. So a lot more, you know, framework, heavy duty. When you open and close this, you feel the weight of the door itself. You've got, you've got a fold up step. Sounds like we have a question. Kendra just came in. She wants to know the length of the trailer. Okay, Kendra, thanks for tuning in. Length of the trailer on the floor is 33.9. So just under 34 foot. And then we're gonna have an 8.2 nose. So once we go nose to tail on this trailer, you're really gonna be pushing about 42 foot right in there. Uh, nose to tail on this trailer. This is a 14 foot short wall. <coughs> Now, if we look out here, there's a couple things we got going on. One, we extended this extrusion at Cimarron up to the nose. We just like the look of it a little bit more rather than stopping kind of at the horse area with the white sheets. So on this one here, again, we extended that extrusion all the way up. There's your electric awning. So nice size awning on this. With a 14 foot short wall, we have a four foot offset. So that's, you know, about an 18 foot awning we're looking at there. And it's electrical, so you push a button, it extends out and then you can retract it back in. You've got light out here. You got your grab handle. You got some courtesy lights. So we really try to give you just a nice entertainment area out here. There's also a plug in. So if you wanted to plug something in out here, exterior speakers, again, you can use this as an, a good exterior entertainment center <coughs> area itself. Um, but again, what a cool just LQ we're looking at in there. Something without a slide out, but in a good size. Again, it really feels really big and open in there. It's not like some of those smaller LQs that don't have slides and everything's just, you're on top of each other as you work 
your way throughout the trailer. Now we're gonna get into this side load and jump into the stall area here in a minute. <coughs> First thing, we have a bus window, a drop window, a bus window, and then a drop window actually in this door. So we can create some airflow on this trailer. Um, one small upgrade that we like to do is an amber turn signal. It's a really small feature, not a lot of money, but again, 34 foot almost on the floor. You know, our truck's way up there. It's nice to have this signal. It'll act as a turn signal, but also when you hit your brakes, it'll indicate. And then it just works as an extra indicator light, like a marker light when you look down the side of this trailer. <coughs> we have two 9,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles, 17 and a half inch wheels on 18 ply continental tires. So nice running gear underneath this trailer based on the sheer size. Uh, electric brakes on this one. Sometimes we'll upgrade to electric over hydraulic on our bigger trailers, um, but good running gear underneath this. These are SRW wheels. So they're not Alcoa Durabrites, um, but they have that look to them. They also don't carry the price tag that Alcoas do. But then when you step into this stall area, there's a couple things that really set this trailer apart. We'll get to the rear tack in a minute but it's this rear side load. This has become so popular. Nice big wide ramp. We like to extend it to the back of the trailer because as horses step off this and naturally want to come off this, they'll probably come down out of a little bit of an angle. So we wanted to extend it going that direction there. <coughs> but we've kind of helped them out a little bit in that scenario. I've got all these dividers open and this back one, let's put a little emphasis on it for a second. It is a breakover divider. So I've got it broken half right now. So as you can see, as you're backing horses off of this, especially, they'll be able to get their shoulder, their left shoulder kind of out a little bit more towards this back wall and try to go off that ramp a little bit straighter. And then as they come in, it gives them a little bit more room, especially when they make that turn and their hip goes to swinging over. So by having that breakover versus a non-breakover, if this didn't break, now look at that. Between that wheel well and that divider, there's not a lot of room there. So we really like to put these breakovers on this back one just for that reason. Really open up this, this stall and making it easier for these horses getting on and off the trailer itself. <laughs> all right, as you can see on these dividers, we did pads on all of them. <coughs> we opted for airflow dividers, airflow on the head grill. Um, just for general airflow throughout these trailers, that's why we put some drops. Uh, but we've got the big bus windows on the tail side as well. So you can create a lot more airflow throughout this trailer itself. But when you incorporate your drop windows, these airflow dividers, drops and bus windows on tail side, we, again, we can create a lot of airflow throughout here, keeping our horses nice and cool. What caps it off is the roof. So on this roof, it is an insulated roof that Cimarron puts on every single trailer. Doesn't matter if it's this living quarters, a small stock trailer, stock combo, a little using trailer. Every one of them has this roof. So a couple benefits of it is one, it's really strong. It'll handle about 150 pounds per square foot. I can walk on it. It won't dent it. It'll take substantial hail. Most importantly, in my opinion, is what it does for this stall area. It keeps this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs in the, in the summertime. So real hot temperatures, imagine that going in. I mean, we're talking maybe, you know, seven, eight degrees, but it, it is a big time difference when you step into these trailers, especially when they're all sealed up here on the lot when it's summertime. Um, you feel the difference between a Cimarron and another brand because of that roof. And then again, we can m manipulate the airflow in here, helping the horses just in their general, just overall feel of the stall area itself. Stud divider at number one. So this is a great place if you wanna add, you know, throw in some feed, throw in some muck buckets, anything like that. We don't have to worry about them getting shifted underneath in transit and getting underneath our horses. It'll stop them there. But again, it works as a good mud room, or if you have a, a certain horse that you need to separate from somebody else, you can put them in this stall right here. They have these big springs. This trailer's tipped towards passenger side. But as you can see, these springs are literally trying to pull these dividers towards driver's side. So now we don't have to hold dividers open um, 
as we're loading, unloading horses. I mean, again, this is a big stud divider. As you can see, we are tipped this way and it's literally trying to pull it that direction. The second one goes straight over and is actually holding that break over against the wall itself. We'll talk more about the mangers in this when we get outside. Last couple things, you've got two-way roof vents. Again, more airflow, more manipulating airflow with those guys there. Uh, you've got your kick mats all the way around. Cimarron does a great job of that. And the last thing is, is these divider latches. Real simple to go ahead and push them shut for safety purposes. Real easy, it's not like you're having to hold them in place. They're recessed against the wall. You, heavy UHMW plastic paddle, and then the actual metal from the divider going in and hooking into it. So we don't have that metal to metal, that rattle, and creating a lot of noise. But this is a cast aluminum piece that's powder coated. It's rounded. As you can see, everything is tapered. They taper the fender. They taper the backside of the fender. So we don't like 90 degree angles, sharp, angles, anything protruding out, everything, we try to put a little bit of a radius on it. With it being 9Ks, you're gonna have a little bit more wheel well compared to eight, uh, but based on the size of this trailer, that's what it calls for is a couple nines underneath it. I'll go ahead and shut up this back door so you can see that it does have that drop window in there as well. So again, you can do a lot for airflow within that trailer based on having the drops, having the airflows, having airflow dividers, uh, two-way roof fence, insulated roof, a little bit of everything. Look up on top there. We haven't touched on that. So that is an eight foot pod. So that'll store about 10 to 12 bales, just depending on size. But because of the pod, you'll be able to seal it all up. Maybe throw some other items in there as well. And then directly behind it is going to be our Onan 4000 generator. It's actually running throughout this video. That's how quiet they are. They're really nice to be able to, to run everything you want on this trailer by just firing that guy up there if you don't have power. We also like to put a deck on the back so you're not standing on the roof itself. Gives you a little bit more area to kind of stand on, loading hay, unloading hay. Uh, and then you have the easy angle ladder. This is a fantastic ladder that Cimarron has designed. We can add this to a trailer, so even if yours has a bolt-on right now and you want to go to one of these, we can do that. But think about when you're going up to load up feed bags, uh, you know, hauling them up, hauling them down, you got buckets, you got other items, going straight up a trailer, it's really hard to do that. With this, it's a big difference on being able to carry something and go up the ladder itself. A lot safer for you as well. And then it drops in to these rubber sockets and one more piece that Cimarron has added. So one is it drops into these rubber sockets, but now there's a safety pin there as well. So you pull that in and out. So it's actually locked in there. Uh, I'd always tell people, you know, go ahead and push down, step on it, make sure it's in those rubber sockets by having that guy in there. Same thing. You still want to do that to make sure it's locked, but now it's locked into the actual trailer itself. So this is why in my opinion, that side load has become so popular. This full width rear tack. <coughs> a lot of storage space back here without adding a lot of length to the trailer. Mid tacks usually add four to five foot. In my opinion, a five footer is the only way to go when you're dealing with those angles if you're gonna do a true mid tack. But by having a full width rear tack, you get a lot of storage. Uh, it's also safer for the horse, is my opinion. If you ever got rear ended, you have this rear tack protecting the horses, the back part of this trailer rather than a horse right here, right inside this back door as well. On the door, carpet, four tier bla uh, blanket pole rack. It's on a gas shock. So it swings in and out. Brush tray, store little miscellaneous items in there. And then there is a deadbolt combo on here. So you don't have to have a key to open and close this if you don't want. Then you have your swing out saddle rack four tier. Those are adjustable on this post, so we can move them up and down if we want. Remove one, add more blanket poles to this. A lot of options there. But we like to go ahead and put a lot of carpet throughout these. So we carpeted all the walls, the door, uh, just because when you're throwing tack up, throwing bridles, anything like that, we don't want them scuffing against the wall. One, it'll create a lot of noise on the other side for the horses, but we don't want to do damage to them. So carpet behind there, protecting them. Hooks, couple rows, high and low. Behind me, 
is a shelf. <laughs> so storage up here, more hooks below it on the act with carpet behind it. And then this in the corner, I'll show you from the outside here in a minute, but that's our actual fuel cell for that generator. So as you can see, even when Outlaw goes and caps it and carpets it, it just flows really well, it blends right in. You don't even really know it. Um, it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb or anything like that. And then behind this swing out saddle rack is a half moon 48 gallon water tank. So that's kind of wasted space back there. So we put that water tank back there. So if you wanted to fill up buckets for your horses, it's gravity feed, so it's real simple to use, but you've got that right here for you at the trailer. Maybe you're at an event and the hydrant's a quarter mile away and you need to lug a couple buckets full of water. It's a lot easier to do it from right here for your horses rather than way over there. <coughs> so as we work over here to driver's side, like we just looked at, here's our fill for that generator. This is a gas Onan 4000 generator. It'll again, power everything you need to on this trailer. Um, but you fill it right here, it's convenient. It's on the same side when you're fueling up your truck, you can pull up to the pump, put gas on it, and there you go. One thing I, I always recommend and one tip I can give you is always carry a bottle of like seafoam, some type of additive like that, because these generators are like small engines. Uh, bad fuel or old fuel will really gum up those carburetors and then you're, you're just gonna have issues with it. So anytime you put gas on this, put a little splash of that like sea foam, something along those lines in it, it'll really keep that carburetor nice and clean and helping out just the overall system um, operating. You need to keep on top of uh, maintenance on those you know, oil changes, fuel filters, oil filters, air filters, anything maintenance wise, but you'll have a booklet on, that'll walk you through on how many hours you do that. All right, so <clears throat> back into the horse area here, there's our drops head grills as well. But I want you to notice on these drop windows how big they are. One, the sheer size. Cimarron does a great job on really trying to get these big openings for a lot of airflow. But the other thing too is, is we're not compensating the overall strength and, and just general structure of how well built these guys are. That's all framework around this window. So these are real heavy duty, nice solid seal to them. Uh, but the last thing we want to do is skimp and give you some real cheap windows. They're welded hinges with grease certs, so real easy to maintain. Uh, you can actually put grease to them. There's a brass rod in the middle of them, and it's got a groove cut into it. So when you put grease to it and you open and close these, you're feeding the grease throughout that hinge. And that's awesome. That's, you'll hear real squeaky hinges. A lot of competitors will have a welded hinge but there's no way to get anything to them besides just the little crack between them. And a lot of times you gotta heat them up and try to force that lubricant through there and it's really difficult to do. Now we've got an escape door. I'm gonna talk about this then we're gonna come back here in a second. <coughs> but we've got a manger on this escape door. We've been doing a lot more of these, a lot more customers want the added storage. You still have the ability to get in and out of that first stall area again possibly using it as a mudroom itself. But you're gonna have a drop window in it, a little bit smaller, just, just based on the framework we need for the door itself. But then you're gonna have a small manger in that door itself. So that doesn't connect into the rest of the mangers, which you've got back here. This very first one, we just have a little bit more size ahead of the wheel wells. So all these open up, these are all big, massive frame doors as well. Grease certs on them, so they build them all the exact same, but you have that manger storage, you know, throw some actual feet in there, some buckets, maybe lawn chairs, just again, about little any, any miscellaneous item you can think of. There's a lot of storage on this trailer for those. As we work forward, just a couple things, you know, you have your dump tanks, there's your black tank, this is your gray tank. So again, go, go black tank and then go forward to your gray tank when you're, when you're dumping with your hose. 30 amp cord, plugs in there, city water connection. So when you're hooked onto city water and you use anything, it'll bypass 
your fresh water tank so you're not using your fresh water which that's where our fill is right there for that so again really cool four horse talk about a couple things so 14 foot outlaw hay pod full width rear tack mangers onan generator dual jacks we could go over it again but i'm getting a little cold so we won't do that but I'll give you the stock number on this one for reference. So again, it's a 2022 Cimarron North Star, four horse with an outlaw conversion. That stock number is 5N211367. We do take trade-ins. So if you're looking to upgrade, even downsize, maybe you got a motor home, you're wanting to get into a living quarters, we can help you out there. You need a used truck or a hauler, we can help you out there as well. We do take, uh, like I said, those trade-ins, um, we have financing available and then also delivery available. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.